Hi everyone, my name is Martin Noble. I'm the chairman, CEO and co-founder of Hurricane Modular Commerce. A very large title there and I'll, I'll explain a little bit um, more on that later. Um, Hurricane, we're a tech company, we're very much on the, on the boundary of uh, Logitech and the fintech space whereby we harness data and artificial intelligence uh, to remove the friction points on cross-border e-commerce, whether that be around product description, to duty and taxes, to fiscal payments, to regulatory affairs on pro uh, prohibited and restricted goods moving from one country to another. Uh, my role has, I suppose, two distinct parts. Uh, the chairman element is where I lead a board of directors um, in approving and developing long-range strategies. Um, and ensuring Hurricane is operating under the various corporate guidance rules around the world. Hurricane, whilst we're a very small company, we are global. Um, and in, in that respect, we also look at the capitalization plans for the company, how the company is financed, where we're deploying next, um, etc. Uh, the CEO role is very, very much about breathing life into that. It's very operational. Um, and I would say it's really that it's a breathe life into strategy role uh, and it's an evolutionary role. The company is only six years old um, and in that time we started from uh, two co-founders to five co-founders where we did everything uh, and now we're up to 50 people globally and by the end of 2022 we'll probably be about 80, 90, 90 people. Uh, so my role is very much about I'd say culture, um, and it's about for the various target segments of customer base that we have globally, it's about me making sure that all our people are being developed, um, all our systems have the customer at the center of what 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 they do globally, um, with the nuances that, that that brings in. But it's really about, if I, if I put it into a metaphoric example, it's very much about ensuring all our people are wearing the same color shirt and all their heads are facing in the right, right direction and we're supporting them and developing them in a very expansive phase of the company. And we're currently growing at a thousand percent year on year. So that is very, that's very much, um, whilst it's dynamic, uh, it's really interesting uh, and sometimes it, it doesn't go right every single day so that can be a little bit uh, of, a, of a challenge but the motivational side and the driving and the energy side of that uh, is, is very very much seeing it if you look in the rear view mirror of, of a business and you look back and you see how far your people have taken take it taken the company in terms of cross-border what do i see the the so three main elements of the challenges for us at the moment. I think number one is the opportunity. Um, Cross-border e-commerce is the highest growth segment of e-commerce. It's currently growing at, depending where you are in the world and what lanes you're looking at, between 30% and 40% year, year on year. Immense opportunity. Um, with that opportunity, it's about scale. We have grown one year, over one year, 10 years of growth have occurred due to, the, due to the pandemic. And it's about handling scale. So how do we take applied technology to improve customer experience and remove that trade, trade friction? And that's my, really my third point, which is whilst we're providing that frictionless trade between buyer, seller, consumer, channel, how do we simplify the complex? How do we apply technology to smooth the oils of, of trade? Um, final point is around the high level group for, for marketplaces. I'm really, really looking forward to this. Um, there's gonna be huge learning for me um, as an individual, given, given, my, given my background, whilst I've worked in logistics, I've been a professional sportsman, I've, uh, I've, I've worked in um, uh, front end in entertainment sectors, I've worked in steel and aluminum uh, sectors as well. Um, and I've worked in, in e-commerce for a number of years now, and that sort of whole consolidation of, of different industries, bringing that into the high level group mar marketplaces. I'm so looking forward to, to learning what the current issues are, 
how do we resolve those through example, thought, innovation, um, and how do we then share those experiences with the broader e-commerce Europe members and broad, broader platform. And I'm really excited in, in doing that over 2022 with the rest of the, uh, the, the colleagues on this group.